It's the banana. Hi! Are you calling for dining through time? Well, you have the right number. Welcome to Dining Through Time. Yes, Dining Through Time. The show where we enjoy little bites of history along with little snacks of food. Little snacks of food. Little bites of history along... We have history and food together at the same time. Today we're going to be covering the Hayes... The Hayes Code, which were a set of unofficial but official rules that were adopted and self-enforced by um, the film industry from the 1930s to the 1960s that basically were a policy of self-censorship um, since the First Amendment did not at the time cover the film industry. The Hayes Code is unique because it really shows how America tackles the, ide the, the question of freedom of expression and how America tackles the question of you know, nudity and lewdness and profanity in our film industry. The Hayes Code was a precursor to a lot of what we know in modern film. With that said, since in the 1930s popcorn was introduced to movie theaters for the first time, we're going to be making popcorn balls. You will need mini marshmallows! <laughs> sugar! Corn syrup! Vanilla extract. Just hand it to me. <laughs> Vanilla extract. Popcorn. Dude, I'm gonna make a fool out of myself. We're over at the stove station and we're gonna make our popcorn balls. If you're wondering why I don't have like an island set up, it's because I don't. This is what we have. This is what we use. This is cutting my head off. Wait. So anyway, we're gonna get this on a medium heat and start combining our ingredients. Or medium low, this stove is really strong. Kind of scares us actually. Please be careful. If you are a child or generally incompetent like I am, you will want a supervisor. We're here at, um, I have to be careful not to cut my head off. All right, we're here at the stove station um, and we're gonna combine all of our white ingredients over the heat. So basically that's everything but the popcorn. I will post the exact recipe I'm using. Again, it's from all recipes. Oh, you can see strings. The strings of candy are forming. Then add in your popcorn and mix it in. Yeah. Hopefully more gracefully than I am. Allow the resulting mixture to cool and then form it into balls. With clean hands. I'm watching you. Uh, this popcorn ball, I've, I've been told not to break my teeth. Uh, this looks soft enough, so I'm going to try it. Honest reaction. Here we go. I like it. It has a nice, like, sweet caramel taste with the popcorn. You get the marshmallow taste in it for sure. I'm gonna go 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. Oh my god. Girl, I'm so sorry. Don't, don't break your teeth. Wait, hold on. I can't even bite it. It's not a bad flavor, but I don't know how they use this. 